Hey everyone, this is Corey with Casual EDC, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tucson TS-190. This is an older model in 14C28N. They are now making this one in M390. And this is just going to be a quick review for you, so let's get some size comparisons out of the way. Uh, big thank you to Jeremy for sending these guys along really appreciate this he sent this as well as a few other knives for me to check out so i really appreciate it and i hope you guys all enjoy the content that these knives have brought bench made bug out right on top here and the victorinox cadet which is the 84 millimeter model you can see it's a pretty big knife uh getting into some specs for you looking at an overall length of 8.07 inches with a closed length of 4.84 inches so pretty big handle on this guy. A blade length of 3.66 inches, blade stock of 0.15 inches, and an overall weight of just at five ounces. I don't have any more stats for you here, or specs, excuse me, because these guys aren't available through retailers. You're gonna be buying two sun knives, mostly from Amazon or eBay, so, that is all of the information that I have available in terms of specs for this guy. Uh, this is a titanium handle, and you also have a titanium backspacer, which you can see right here, as well as a pocket clip. There's some really nice milling on this knife, which you can kind of see here. Hopefully that is getting picked up by the camera. And that pattern is mimicked on the clip as well, making for a pretty attractive design. I think it gives it just enough of a breakup on this plain titanium handle to uh, really just show off the, uh, really makes it look a little bit dressier than it is, I think is what I'm getting at. As you can see, we have a pretty mean looking blade here. Uh, this is almost like a trailing point with the way that this blade swoops down like this. But you're really looking at a slight recurve with a huge belly at the top. Um, it's funny, cutting with this knife was almost like cutting with a Tanto knife. Uh, it's almost like having a secondary edge up here with the amount of belly that this blade has. So that was uh, it was really interesting to use for cutting. Uh, going before we talk about cutting performance, as you can see, this knife has incredible action. This is on bearings and there's no blade play right now. I checked for that before filming. Uh, it's kind of crazy. The uh, just how free falling this blade is for a $135 knife. There are definitely tons of smooth knives out there, but not many that are gonna cut your finger off if you don't get it out of the way in time. And I'll tell you, if this has any blade play at all, that blade flies shut faster than you can imagine. I hit my thumb pretty good with it the other day, which I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. But I have a nice white line right across in front of my finger here, on my fingernail, just from this knife in particular closing. Uh, yeah, it, it comes down with some authority, that's for sure. You can see it hit right there, and I had it slam about twice as hard as that. A uh, good hard thwack, good detent on this guy. Very easy to get your hand out of the way though if you're worried about that. Smooth and drop shutty. So this has, as we said, 0.15 inch thick blade stock, which is definitely thicker than I would normally like to see. This is just as thick as the Cold Steel 8015, but this has an extremely thin hollow grind on it, which if you can see the thinness behind this edge, it is incredible. Hopefully you can kind of get an idea for how much that thins out. It's really difficult to, uh, to show this off sometimes but it is incredibly thin, which made this cut super well. Um, this belly up at the front here too, meant for when you were slicing, if you rotated, you were still cutting with an edge, which a lot of times would say something like the bug out. If I were coming through and I rotate, I'm gonna lose edge. If I'm going through material here, I only have that much edge left. But if I'm going through material here and I turn, I still have all that edge to use. And that made this really a pleasure to cut with. Uh, you, like I said, using this kind of like a Tanto, I was able to break down boxes. 
which when I break down a box, I'll take off the top and I'll leave the bottom attached. And what I'll do is I'll come down on the corners with the, usually the belly of a knife and just kind of push downward and inward like this. Well, with this knife having so much belly and almost a forward tip, I would come almost straight down with it opposed to pushing forward and it cut really well. It's super thin up in that area. So it made a really easy job of cutting through that. Really solid ergonomics on this guy. I get a little bit of rubbing from this area right by my thumb. As you can see, there are some sharper areas of the titanium right there, but nothing too bad. Uh, really comfortable though to use. There's no jimping or anything in the back here, but I really didn't feel like I needed it to stay secured. My fingers wrapped around this pretty, pretty nicely. Um, if you have bigger hands than I do, which I wear a size large glove, uh, you could definitely have a little bit more room to play around in this. It might be a little bit more cramped up with this little sharp area right here. But otherwise, I think it's plenty big of a handle for most people. Like I said, it cuts really well. Uh, the clip, really nice. Uh, no hot spots whatsoever. I wish it had a little bit more tension on it, but it is a milled titanium clip. See, it's a very thin clip too, so you probably don't want to catch this on anything if you can help it. Uh, probably bend pretty good on you. Uh, lock bar tension is really good on this. You're not going to accidentally disengage this knife, that's for sure. Uh, good flipping action. Yeah, just solid all around. Um, this is the first Tucson knife I was ever able to check out. So it was really interesting to be able to get a look at this one. Uh, I really, uh, really like... You know, the overall finish of everything, uh, really nice milling on here in the handle, good action. Uh, the blade stock, like I said, a little thick, but the grind is super thin, makes it cut really well. Uh, the pivot, a little fancy to, up there, nothing too crazy, but that's always good to see. This has a steel insert, as you can see there, so you're not worrying about lock stick from titanium on steel. Just really well done for a company that you really you can't even buy their knives from retailers. That's you know one of the craziest things about Tucson is that they have some really good designs and in really good steel. Uh, some of them in S90V, some of them in M390, lots of them really in M390. As I said, this one is 14C28N, but this cut really well, and I can imagine an M390. This could be a modder's, you know, a modder's dream because. It's a lot of blade to work with if you wanted to reprofile this, if you wanted to give it a new blade shape, perhaps maybe knock down this area of the blade, go with some kind of a uh, like a clip point on here. I think it could look really neat. And there's plenty of blade to give you the opportunity to play around with that. And of course, being titanium handles and having this milling pattern, you get a chance for dual anodizing, making it look different depending on the angle you're looking at. I think it's just a really neat opportunity. And just a really well done knife as I hit the mat there, trying to open that. Overall though, I was impressed. I know this is just a quick review here for you guys, but it cut really well. It's got really good action, and I really liked carrying this. Despite being 5 ounces, all the weight is balanced really well. It's balanced right where your pointer finger wants to be. You know, right in that area right there. So, in hand, you have full control of this. It's not too top heavy, not too bottom heavy. It was really just a lot of fun to use. So, Jeremy, thank you again for sending this guy along. This is the last little review of the knives that Jeremy sent that I am filming. So, once again, a big thank you to Jeremy for sending all those knives and let me check them out and uh, bringing the content for you guys for the channel here. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.